Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled Self-Checking by David Brannon. Let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 40. Recently, I read through a stack of World War II era letters my dad sent to my mother. He was in North Africa and she was in West Virginia. Dad, a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army, was tasked with censoring soldiers' letters, keeping sensitive information from enemies' hands. So it was rather humorous to see on the outside of his letter to his wife a stamp that said, censored by second lieutenant John Brennan. Indeed, he had cut out lines from his own letters. Self-censoring is really a good idea for all of us. Several times in scripture, the writers mentioned the importance of taking a good long look at ourselves to find what's not right, not God honoring. The psalmist, for example, prayed, search me God and know my heart. See if there's any offensive way in me. Jeremiah put it like this, let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. And Paul, speaking of our heart condition at the time of communion said, everyone ought to examine themselves. The Holy Spirit can help us, can help us turn from any attitudes or action that does not please God. So before we head out into the world today, let's stop and seek the Spirit's help in doing some self-checking so we can return to the Lord in fellowship with Him. How will you pursue healthy spiritual self-examinations today? What are two things that comes to mind that you can remove to improve your fellowship with God? Let us pray. Search me, O God and know my heart. See if there are any changes I need to make today as I seek to know you, know you more, and serve you better. Amen. Once again, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this station. Please pass this devotion to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. Please continue to help us expand our virtual community in these trying times. God bless you and you have a great day.